Hello everyone, welcome back to the online sessions of the Material Science and Metallurgy. Myself Vivek Pari taking the lectures on the unit that is known as a phase diagram. So, in the last lecture we have studied about the eutectic phase diagram, how it occurs and in that I have told you that we will be discussing about the numerical in this upcoming lecture. So now, in this lecture, let us discuss about the numerical which is based on your eutectic phase diagram. Why? Because with the help of this numerical, you will be able to recognize how this thing happens and how it is useful for us for getting the different types of the composition. So now, let us see the different type of the data which is given to us. That is the numerical in this, there is a binary system of A and B which is given to us. That is the binary system of A and B. So, the very first step which we will be doing, that is nothing but making the phase diagram. So, let us make the one phase diagram. For that, what we require? We require a U-shaped frame for the giving of any of the phase diagram. Then, so we have done the binary phase diagram of A and B. So, make it at one position A and at another point that is a B. Here, make sure that you write A in the very first row and B in the second row. Here, what will be the percentage of A? That is 100 and here that will be 0. Over here, A will be 0 uh, and B will be 100. Okay, this is the line of the 100% pure metal A, this will be the line of the 100% pure metal B. So, this is what we have written about this binary system and we have made the two points and we have made the rough diagram. Now, the first point that is the melting point of A that is 700 degrees Celsius. Now, what do I mean by the melting point? Melting point means when a liquid is converted to the solid. Now, what is the melting point of A? So, melting point of A is always plotted on this line that is about 700 degrees Celsius. So, it will be around this thing 700 degree Celsius. So, I have marked the very first point that is melting point of A that is 700 degrees Celsius. The same goes with the melting point of B that is 920 degrees Celsius. So, on this 100 percent line mark 920 degree celsius 920 make sure that 700 is below and 920 is in the upper range clear it should not have a confusion regarding these two points now going forward for the next thing where does this thing occurs where does the reaction occurs that is the eutectic temperature is 400 degree celsius so, for the eutectic temperature, make a line over that thing at the 400 degrees Celsius. Just go through one line which is at the 400 degrees Celsius, mark that line that is the eutectic temperature. After that what happens? The eutectic composition, where does the reaction occur? It occurs at 40A and 60B. Before going there, make it as a 50-50 mark so that it will be easier for us to plot the points on the graph. Where does the composition is there? 40A. 40A is over here. So, there will be 40A, 60B. So, at this particular point, there is a eutectic reaction occurs. As you all know, the eutectic reaction, the rough reaction which we have seen, that is like this. So, for over here, if there is a eutectic reaction, then join both the melting points and this will be your region. So, this is the eutectic reaction which we have plotted on a particular graph. So, here we have also mentioned the eutectic composition of A and B. Where does it occur? 400 degrees Celsius. At which composition? 40, 60 mark. Okay. So, point, plot that point at this particular thing. Now comes the solubility of B that is in an A at 400 degrees Celsius. Now make sure that which material is added in which thing. The solubility of B that is B is dissolved in a A. So A is in a major quantity, B is in the minor quantity. What is the minor quantity? 14 percentage. So what will be the percentage of B that is 14? So where does B 14 comes? Over here somewhere. So what will be the Another composition of A that is 86, where at 400 degrees Celsius, so on the 400 degrees Celsius, mark one point that is of the 8640 and mark that point. 
So this is the solubility of the material that is V in A. So what you have to see which matter is dissolved in which that percentage is given to you. So that is the solubility of V in A. Same way A in B at 400 that is 9 percentage. So what is 9 percentage? That is minor amount. Which metal is there? A. So A is 9. So over here somewhere there is 9 and 91 will be there. So make that point on the 400 degrees Celsius. So plot that point over there. So now we have also introduced this thing that is solubility of A in B. Where at 400 degrees Celsius. Now solubility is there, but where they are given at a room temperature. The bottom line that is given that is known as a room temperature. Okay. So now we will be plotting it that B in A. So what will be the B? That is one percent. So over here it will be coming. So now join this line towards this thing and then up to one percent. Remove this portion. Because up to the room percentage we have won, that is 1 percentage over here, it will be coming. Just now we are not plotting that point over the graph. Clear? And same way 0.1 percentage A in B. So that will be near tends to 0 only. So what we will be doing? Take this point, join both the points and remove this region. So. All the things we have taken into the consideration, we have done all the points over here. Now, where we have to find out the composition? Eutectic and pro-eutectic, we have to find out at 60A, 40B. So, where does it come? 60A, 40B falls over here. So, this will be my point. This point, I want to calculate the different type of the eutectic composition, pro-eutectic. Now, plot all the things which is there. So here there will be the liquid region. Here there will be liquid plus A. Why? Because here there is a A region. So here there will be B. Here liquid plus B. And here there will be A plus B region will be there. Okay? And this is your rough diagram or you can say the diagram according to the data which is given to us. This diagram we have plotted and this is how which the different things occur. Now, for finding out the thing, which was the requirement, that is the lever rule we require. So for lever rule, what we will be taking that? For lever rule, we have to go for finding out eutectic and pro-eutectic. First thing which we will take, that is the point at which we want to find out the composition. That is this point, 60, 40. Make it as an X point and mark this region on the point on which we want to find it out. Then second point which we will be taking, second point will be the fixed point that is our eutectic point that is marked as a Y where the eutectic reaction occurs. Also mark down the composition of it. And the third one. Now for the lever rule you always require the three points. One point we have finded out the point on which we require the amount. The second point that is the eutectic point that is the fish. The third point which we will be taking, third point will be your point at which we require that is at 60-40, 60-A, 40-B that should be always the center point. So if this is the center point then which will be the third point automatically Z comes over here. Automatically Z will be coming over here. So this will be our third point. So now apply your lever rule. I make it simple for you. That is Z, X, Y. Okay. Here the composition. Now you have to take or select any one composition. Either A or either B. Out of these two you have to take any one of the composition for the particular calculation. Let us take it as an A marking. So it will be 86, 60 and 40. We have taken this all the three points which is there. Now, what is the eutectic region? Eutectic region is over here because eutectic reaction occurs over here. And where is pro-eutectic? Pro-eutectic is over here. So now, let us find out how to find out this thing with the help of the lever rule. So, for the pro-eutectic, for pro-eutectic, as I told you in the last lecture, how we can apply the lever rule, the opposite end we have to take. So pro-eutectic is over here. So opposite part we have to take. So that is xy equal to xy divided by the full. 
that is y z multiply by 100 what is x y x y is nothing but a 60 minus 40 divided by what is total y z that is 86 minus 40 multiplied by 100 now what does it comes that is 20 divided by 46 multiplied by 100 here is the thing that is 20 divided by 46 multiplied by 100. So what will be if you calculate you will get the result that is around 56.52 percentage answer will come. So what others we have calculated? We have calculated the pro eutectic how the cross multiplication you have to take. The same way if you want to find out eutectic. If you want to find out the eutectic reaction, where is eutectic occurring over here? Which region we will be going? We will be going for the cross region. So that will be XZ. So it will be equal to XZ divided by whole. That is YZ multiplied by 100. What is XZ? Minus this thing that is 86 minus 60 divided by the total 86 minus 40 multiplied by 100. So what will be it? That is 26 divided by 46 multiplied by 100. So it will be equal to the thing that is known as an 56.52 percentage will be there over here and the calculation of this will be something around 43.48 percentage. So this is how you can find out the two different types of the thing with the help of the lever rule. Clear? So this is how we can find out the different composition with the help of the lever rule. And this is the eutectic diagram or the information which we can get from the diagram that is this much thing. The solubility we can get, the melting point we can find it out, the eutectic temperature, eutectic composition, all these things we can find it out with the help of of this eutectic phase diagram. So this was all about the thing that is known as an eutectic phase diagram. Clear with it? So with the help of this numerical it will be very much easy for you and with this we can find out any of the information from this phase diagram. Clear? So now remaining with the two different types of the phase diagram we will see only the diagram of that particular thing and the same thing we can apply on the any of the diagrams okay so now let us move forward for the next diagram These are the phase diagram you have already seen further in your iron carbon diagram. So the next one that can be U tech toy phase diagram. That is U tech toy phase diagram. Now let us see how does this thing happen. U tech toy phase diagram in the V if you go then this type of the diagram U tech toy diagram is the thing. Over here you can say that is solid 1 will give you solid 2 plus solid 3. What does this thing here that is solid 2, here that is solid 1 plus solid 3 and here if you go for the thing then that is the solid 1 plus solid 2. In this you can say that solid 1 can be your gamma region, here that will be alpha plus Fe3C region and this is the eutectoid temperature which is occurring. What is the difference in this eutectoid temperature or eutectoid diagram that is your one solid will gives you into the reaction that is solid 2 plus solid 3. This is the reaction which is occurring over here. So this was the eutectoid diagram according to the information which we are having such way we can draw the diagram of the eutectoid and we can find out the different types of the thing or the reactions which are occurring in the eutectoid phase diagram. The same way if we want to go for the next one that is the peritectic phase diagram. The diagram or the reaction which is occurring at the top that is peritectic phase diagram, peritectic phase diagram. Now how does it occurs? 
what does the thing happens in this paratactic diagram the same one as you have drawn in the iron carbon diagram so this is the thing which we have to go for the reaction here the reaction occurs and the diagram which will be there can be drawn over here so this is the thing where this diagram occurs what does this thing have liquid plus solid one gives you solid 2 liquid plus solid 1 gives you solid 2 here you can recall the thing that is liquid plus delta gives you austenite so this will be your austenite region this will be your liquid whereas this is your delta region delta iron so this is the reaction which is occurring this is the diagram in this way the paratactic reaction or the phase diagram is drawn for the paratactic reaction and the last phase diagram which will be there that is of the peritectoid phase diagram the last one which we will be going that is the peritectoid it is the new one peritectoid phase diagram Next one that is the peritectoid. Now, how does this thing occur? So, next phase diagram which we will be seeing that is the peritectoid phase diagram. In this peritectoid phase diagram, how does the reaction occur? That is, in, in this of the diagram, this reaction does not occur in your iron carbon diagram, but it is one of the reactions which is occurring for the reaction. That is, it is one of the phase diagram which is going to occur. So, this was about the peritectoid reaction. Over here, the reaction occurs. Over here, the reaction occurs. Here, there is a gamma region is there. Over here, there is a beta region and alpha. So, gamma plus alpha. Here, alpha plus beta. And over here, gamma plus beta. Here, what is the reaction? You can see on the top, that is solid 1 plus solid 2 gives you the reaction that is solid 3. Alpha plus gamma gives you beta. So, this is the reaction which is occurring. And according to the data which we are having, we can split this diagram in this way. And for the different types of the informations which we are having, so these are the things which we can take this. And from these reactions, what we can do? We can find out the different informations regarding this thing in this particular phase diagram clear so this was all about the phase diagram which are occurring okay and here it ends your particular chapter that is known as an particular phase diagram what we have seen in this phase diagram we have seen the different types of the phase unary or the binary diagram eutectic eutectoid peritectic peritectoid Majorly it can be asked in the eutectic diagram or your simple diagram phase diagram which we can say. And the different things which that is the transformation which are occurring that we have seen and the non-equilibrium pulling which we have seen in the previous lecture. So this was all about the thing that is known as the phase diagram and here it ends your chapter that is known as a phase diagram. Clear? Thank you.